Hey guys, Sergeant No Rep here, the greatest judge to never judge, and today I'm coming to you with a fix for the Origin Offline. So Origin is a game launcher, you play games like Apex, Battlefield, uh, there's been an issue going on where it shows offline, you can't get on to, to play your games, so here's a fix for you. So, I tried everything, I contacted support maybe three or four times, they told me to clear my cache, they told me to automatically set my time go and sync my time with the internet, uh, reinstall the Origin um, launcher, all that stuff didn't work until I found a lovely lady named Mary, one of the support people, and she helped walk me through this. So, I'm going to show you how uh, to get it going, and it worked for me no problem. Okay, so for step one, um, we need to uninstall uh, Origin. So I'm going to make this um, big here, and I'll show you exactly, walk you step by step how to do that, okay? So this is going to be pretty easy. So you want to manually uninstall Origin. Uh, the easiest way to do that is through your control panel. You just search for it in the start menu. Um, you find your Origin app. It's that orange symbol. Uh, you click to uninstall it. It's going to warn you that EA games might not be functional. All good. Go and uninstall it. Okay? So, step number two. Okay, so that's done. So, for our part number two, we have to clear out your cache. So, basically, all the stuff that's left behind. So, I'm going to make the screen uh, big here. So, clear your cache to fix problems with your games. So, remember, this all worked for me. I've tried everything else. This, this is the one that worked for me. So basically you're going to make sure Origin is closed, it should be because you uninstalled it. Um, hold down your Windows key plus R, you'll get this run command box pop up. I want you to type in this right here, program data uh, slash origin and press OK. So obviously if you're watching this video you can just pause it, type it in and go to the next step. So when that pops up you're going to get a uh, folder here you want to delete everything except for local content do not delete local content okay if you're using windows xp i'm guessing most people are using windows 10 that would be if you're using windows xp next again you hold down windows key plus r you type in this command here the app data one click ok um, in the roaming file folder that opens uh, delete the origin file okay and then now for some reason I forget which command it was I found that the, the folder was somewhere else you can just search uh, if you're looking for roaming you can search roaming on your computer and you can find it there basically you want to delete everything that says origin then click on app data so you go up above the screen you click on app data you open local file delete origin folder in there as well now restart your PC Okay, we're going to move on to step number three. Okay, so that's done. So step number three. This is basically um, deleting some more stuff, quote unquote, the hard way that they say on their site. But anyway, it's not that bad. So I'll pop that up here so you can look at it. So obviously, we've already quit the origin client. Uh, you want to open up the task manager on your computer. To do that, you press Control alt delete uh, You go to task manager. You find the processes tab. You click there and see if any origin things are still running. Um, it still was for me, even though I uninstalled this origin web help service was still there, so I uh, closed that out. Um, so you make sure everything's fully closed out, even that origin client service. Now you want to steps to uninstall origin just to make sure it's completely gone again. I know this stuff sounds redundant, uh, but this is what you had to do. So you select computer from the start menu, C drive. Uh, program files, uh, mine was in programs times uh, 86 bit. Uh, right click on origin file, plus delete. Um, next, you go back to your Windows registry. So you hold down the Windows key, press R, type in this here, uh, click OK. You select file, select export. Under export range, select all. Choose a location to name for the backup and click save. I didn't know what I used this backup for. I just followed the steps. I never did reinstall it or anything like that. So third, remove your origin registry keys. So same thing. Type in this. Expand the H key local machine folder. Expand the software folder. Expand the WoW 6432 node folder. Uh, I said you might see this different one here. 
right click on the origin folder select delete expand the Microsoft folder so you have to go back I think one to get that Microsoft expand Windows expand current version expand uninstall file right click on origin click delete lastly remove origin from your program cache so under computer C drive program data so when I went to look for program data I couldn't find it um, so you had to go up above on your menu as it says here to folder view uh, basically you had to make the hidden fo uh, files uh, visible because program data was hidden on my computer um, might be as well on yours so once I made that visible I was able to see it you right click on the origin file inside of it and press delete so that basically wraps uh, that up so the only other step after that is um, you'll have to install origin which is an older uh, version of that um, just let me check here really quick boom 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 uh, yeah so you're going to install an older version of origin I will put uh, a link down below here for that um, so in the description I'll put a link of where you get the old origin so the key when you install this old origin one is you don't want to click off to automatically update uh, because that will bring you to the new version which will mess everything up again so keep that automatically update box unclicked uh, install that and you'll be good to go so anyway I hope that helps you out it helped me out I try, like I said I tried everything I wasn't playing games for three days uh, did this all up and I was good to go uh, please like the video down below subscribe to the channel for other gaming I do crossfit videos and stuff like that and we'll talk to you later